here's my non-spoiler review for Gladiator 2. If you were to ask me, are you not entertained with Gladiator 2, I would respond, I was mildly entertained. Gladiator 2 is entertaining. It has some strengths and honors the legacy of its first masterful predecessor, especially the way they treat Maximus Decimus Meridius as a character. I love that he's kind of like this mythic rebel gladiator. Anytime we hear his musical cues from the first film, anytime we see his armor, anytime we see his name, anytime we get any mention of him, I got chills because it just reminded me of the first one. That first gladiator is one of the greatest movies ever made in the history of film. But unfortunately for me, I felt like this sequel never quite reached the glorious and compelling heights of that first film. And honestly, how could they really? Maximus as a character is just built different. That first movie, every aspect about it, the first frame, the hand in the wheat, the music, the uh, character relationships, the conflict, Joaquin Phoenix is the villain. Every aspect about it is perfection. And the sequel kind of feels like whenever they would rehash or rework some of the same things that they went over in the first movie, the first half of this movie feels like a remake of the first one. And the second one operates as a satisfactory sequel. But as a whole, everything feels like a fragile echo of the first masterpiece. Paul Mescal, Pedro Pascal, and Denzel Washington all deliver engaging performances that will keep you locked in. But I feel like their character arcs were handled in an uneven way and they felt very rushed, to be honest. Whenever something drastic would happen in the story, like a character death or a triumph, Never did I feel too connected to it. And I always felt like it was kind of glossed over. Someone would die and then they'd move on or it just wasn't as <clears throat> emotionally compelling. For example, like in the beginning, when you see what happens to Lucius and who he cares about, I mean, it just, I just wasn't as connected as I thought it, I would be. If you compare it to the first one, it kind of pales in comparison. I mean, you really feel for Maximus's family and you're on the ride with him and you want to take out all of Rome. As a generic sword and sandals action film, I will, I will say the combat was excellent. I thought it works. It's satisfactory. I would say it's good in that regard. But as a sequel, we kind of end up in the same place. The first movie does everything better. I would have hoped when you learn about the true backstory of this main character, I would have hoped it would have had more impact to it, but it just, it really didn't for me. That first Gladiator movie was groundbreaking in so many areas, especially the VFX. Ridley Scott brought the dream of Rome to life. It was no longer a whisper. He presented it on the screen in the most fierce way. And with the sequel, I feel like the VFX actually kind of hindered a lot of moments where it was really noticeable and kind of takes you out of the moment of that uh, high intense human uh, violence. Paul Mescal is a great actor. Watch After Sun, watch Normal People. I was very excited to see him in this role, but I felt like the writing and the directing kind of held him back. He felt wooden. I felt like there wasn't that much humanity to him. I loved some of his line deliveries like, is this how Rome treats its heroes? Or when he's telling Pedro Pascal, pick it up! Like he played that one note of rage very well, but when you're comparing him to the other characters like Denzel's or Pedro's, I felt like they were a bit more layered in their portrayals. So I kind of, I, I, I just wasn't really connected to Lucius that much, as much as I thought I would be, you know? Uh, I actually felt his speeches to be not all that inspiring, you know? This is about survival! Survive! <laughs> also, where was my boy Juba from the first movie? There's so much story potential with him and, you know, they just don't use him. If you're a diehard Gladiator fan, I'd say you could probably wait to check this one out later. If you're looking for an exciting action, sword and sandals, Gladiator tale, 
definitely check this out on the big screen and let me know what you think. And I hope, regardless, you all love this and have the best time. Strength and honor for the glory of Rome.